Hello, in this tutorial we'll take a look at how students or users might be able to take a picture with either a laptop or a cell phone to be able to upload that as an image in their Canvas assignments. So, if you are using a district device, most likely it is running Windows 10. If that's the case, we're going to come down here where it says search and we're going to type in camera. And we're going to open the camera app. And once my camera app is open, you can go ahead and snap a picture right away. So I could just hold up my work or whatever I'm wanting to capture and come over here to where I see the little image with the camera icon. Now don't be concerned, your current image is near, meaning that it looks as if it is backwards. When I snap my picture, it will capture it and it will look just as if it currently does normally. Now, if you'd like to adjust where your camera and pictures are stored, you could come over here to the little icon where you see the I little settings icon, and you can come down to the bottom wherever it says change where photos and videos are saved. Now, if you don't do this, all of your camera pictures that you snap from here will be located in the camera roll, and I will show you where you can locate those. But if you wanted to adjust the location, click there and you'd be able to do that. Now, once I've captured my image, and it may have been that I emailed it to myself, or it may have been that I have the file already stored because I used the camera app on my device, I'm gonna locate where it's found. Quick way to do that is to come to the bottom where you see the little location where you have the file folder here. And this is a way for you to locate most files that you may have on your device. Now, if you did use the actual camera app that's on your device, I will show you where you can locate those. Now, if you know the name of the file, you could always enter it here in the search, but a lot of times it's not something that I have named yet. It automatically saved it on my device. So I'm gonna come over to where I see it say pictures. And again, because of Windows 10, it does store underneath camera roll. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up camera roll and I can see the image that I wanna upload. If you wanted to, at this point, you could rename it. And I think it's very important that if you're turning things in, you want to give it whatever file name maybe your teacher has instructed you to do, or just to make it easier for yourself. And all you need to do is right click on that, come over to where it says rename. And it may be that you name it with your name, maybe it's your first and your last name, maybe it's specific directions given to you by your teacher. So I have this, okay. Now I think I'm ready to be able to open up my canvas so that I can go ahead and pull up the assignment and submit it. So here I go, I'm gonna go and open up my web browser. In this case, I'm using Google Chrome. And here it is where I have my assignments that my teacher has given to me. I'm gonna select on any one of the assignments that I need to turn in that I can go ahead and upload a file for. So let's click on this one, for example. And my teacher has given me some directions. It's important that you follow those, whatever your teacher may have said. I'm going to click on the button that says Submit Assignment, it's in the upper right hand corner. And depending upon the assignment that your teacher gave you, you may not be able to upload a file, but in this case my teacher gave me an assignment that I need to. I see right here where it says File Upload, it even asks me to choose a file. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Choose a file. Again, if you know the name of the file, you could type it in here where it says Search Documents. Or if you're not sure of the name, you could always come and say, where did I sort? Sometimes it's easy to drop things onto your desktop, but in this case, I know where the file is currently stored. I click on pictures, I go to my camera roll, and I can see there's the file I wanted to upload. I'm gonna click open. And there it is, right next to choose file, I see the name, it's a JPEG because it's a image that I captured and I'm ready to submit my assignment. Now, if your teacher is giving you specific directions, maybe there's something you need to type into the comments. It could possibly be the name of the assignment. It could be your name again. It's up to you and to follow the directions given to you by your instructor. So let's just say it's my name. And I also wanna make sure that I type in what is the assignment. This happens to be for uh, 1.1 and whatever directions your teacher may have given you, I'm ready to submit. Click on that button, submit assignment. And there you go. In the upper right hand corner, you should see that it says submission. I've submitted this assignment. If I needed to make changes, I might be able to resubmit the assignment. Hopefully this was helpful and you have a better idea how to capture images either with a cell phone or by using the device that you are given to us by the district using Windows 10 and the camera app. 
Thanks so much.